Well, good evening, Arkansas. Happy Wednesday to everybody out there around the state. We've almost made it to the uh, weekend well, once again, just have to get through a couple of more uh, days, and hopefully you have gotten outside to really enjoy the nice air mass that we have in place across the state. Of course, we get, we have seen pretty much a dry day across most of the state. We did see a very few isolated showers across parts of the Ozarks, and that was mainly due uh, to to a little bit of upslope effect, um, but those have since started to uh, die off as we head into the evening evening hours. Another really comfortable night ahead uh, well, once again across much of the state. Of course, we are uh, coming in this hour, 82 um, up in the Ozarks, 84 in Mountain Home, 84 in Clinton, um, 80, 88 in Fort Smith, 82 down, down in uh, Mena, 88 in, in, in El Dorado, and of course 84 here in the uh, capital city. Overall, a very nice evening a, a, a head for force, and, and those uh, temperatures will fall off relatively fast uh, this evening thanks to uh, dry air in place uh, once again. So as we head into the e evening hours, we will drop down uh, into the 70s across much of the state. Overnight lows dropping down into the 60s uh, once again. Even some upper 50s across parts of the uh, higher, higher uh, elevation of northwest Arkansas. Overall, another very nice night ahead across the state. As we head into the day on, on uh, third Thursday, one more very nice day with with uh, dry air in uh, place. Little if any rain rain rainfall, but we will see a few more clouds here here and there compared to what we've seen over the past couple co couple days. It will be a little bit warmer tomorrow, uh, but but overall still not bad and still be below average for this time of year. Humidity starts to return on uh, fr Friday as our southerly flow starts to uh, re return ahead of our southeast ridge that is going to start to build in from the from the east and our sonoran ridge that, that's going to start to build in from the west it's going to be one of those uh, typical august type type of uh, weeks uh, coming up as we head into late uh, weekend and early next week excessive heat does look li likely starting around the saturday saturday afternoon especially um sun sunday monday and tuesday and beyond into much of much of next week does look to uh, rival what we just went went through last week. I, again, highs in the upper 90s to low 100s with those heat index va values 105 to 110. The one thing that we that we may not see is the heat index is quite as high as they were with this last time because our 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 ground mo moisture is almost gone uh, com compared to, to what we had going into the last. Heat, heat wave, so it could be a dry heat instead of the typical really humid air masses that we normally see. But even though it's still going to be very, very hot, especially um, if you have to be outside, little if any rain, 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 rain is expected over the next seven, ten days, and we really don't see anything in the long range beyond that yet. So the, the longer we go without uh, rain, the greater chance we have to hit 100 as we head throughout the month of August. So once again, most of us have hit that mark, but some still have uh, not. Here in the metro, we have not hit since uh, 2018 yet, but I have a feeling that could change throughout much of the upcoming week. Across parts of uh, northern Arkansas, obviously this will be our coolest uh, throughout much of the next seven uh, days. Coolest on third Thursday, highs in the mid-80s. Mid and then, of course, lows down in the low to mid 60s. Uh, once again, I have added a very slight change, chance of rain throughout much of the rest of the, rest of the uh, period. Those uh, typical, very isolated uh, um, afternoon shower storm. Most of us will be dry, but we could see a stray shower or two, especially throughout the heat, heat of the day. And especially as we head towards Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and beyond, as we really start to deal with, with that heat. Again, low 90s for the for the uh, weekend in northern Arkansas, but mid to upper 90s as we head into uh, ne next week with our o overnight lows coming up into the mid 70s as well. Now across parts of central Arkansas, uh, again our, our coolest day will be uh, tomorrow. Then as we head throughout much of the uh, re rest of the week into the weekend, the heat really starts to build 
as we head into into Saturday and Sunday with those highs coming back into the mid and upper uh, uh, 90s. As we head towards Tuesday and Wednesday, we may start to get close to that 100 mark, especially by Tuesday and uh, Wednesday. Some guys had us 101, 102, others 96, 97. With the lack of soil moisture going into next week, I have gone a little bit above guidance for highs as we head into into ne ne next week. And with that, the overnight lows coming up as well into the upper 70s to a, around 80. So, so excessive heat does look likely as we head into into the middle part of next week. Now across Southern Arkansas, again, we will be back in the 90s uh, tomorrow, but still be below average as we head throughout much of the week. Again, that very slight chance for, for, for an isolated shower, shower or a storm. But the bigger story is going to be the heat. Highs in the mid to upper 90s this weekend, and we go back into the 100s once again to start next week, and we most likely stay there for much of the week ahead next week with those heat heat index readings approaching that 105 to 110 mark. Maybe going above, maybe not, um, but with the with the uh, combo of heat and uh, humidity, it will make for a very, very, very unpleasant way, way, week ahead and rivaling what we just uh, went through this uh, past week. I will be gone um, through through the 6th, 6th, 16th of August. Um, I'll be taking my family down down to uh, Florida, Cameron, and the rest of the team will uh, be here to keep you updated with the heat and, of course, any potential cold front just beyond the seven-day period Right now, we don't see it, but uh, one one could come. I will be back on the 16th right here on your source for all things Arkansas weather.